The Southwest landscape is unlike any other in the U.S. And Chad shows us Osuna Nursery now features a walking trail populated by native plants ready to find a home in your backyard. So we are back out here today with Russell Mauser from Osuna Nursery. And uh, we are, you take a look around, we are in the great southwest on yes, this road. Tell are. us about this place. So this is our new Yucca Trail that we've uh, been working on this year. And uh, this is where we keep our really, really native plants. Okay. This is where the stuff with the thorns is kept and uh, the stuff of low water use. Low water use, that's really important in this market. Yes, so it is. Uh, you've got some featured plants here on, in this trail, is that right? Yes, I do. Um, back to our back here. This is a choyas, uh, tall, spindly kind of plant, lots of thorns, very low water use, uh, great plant, see them out in the desert a lot. Also, the New Mexico agaves, again, a great choice for the landscape, beautiful colors. They are another low, low water use plant. Also, uh, just brought in our field dug hedgehog cactus. We have those, these will be green uh, in a little while right now they're showing their winter colors okay and we also have the yellow ones coming in and over here we have our ocotillos another really really good choice for the New Mexico landscape they look like this most of the time and then when it rains they flush out in green leaves and they get little red flowers on top so these obviously are really beautiful plants here. Are there different uses? Is, is there one location maybe in the yard that you would use one versus another? Yeah, uh, obviously because of the, the, the plants having thorns, you would want these in an area that has low traffic or is away from foot traffic. Okay. Um, an area that you have trouble getting your water to, another good reason to have them there. <laughs> okay. And actually uh, a selling point that's been brought to my attention by our customers is, <clears throat> These are nice home security plants. That's I've, I've seen that before. People having cactus maybe in front of the windows yes, that they yes. want to keep safe. Yes, the, the choyas are a great, great plant if you want something under a window to keep people out. Uh, we've had several people and businesses come in and buy the ocotillos to block foot traffic, holes in fences, keep people from cutting through the yard. Um, of course, in the agaves and the hedgehogs, although they're shorter, they can deter foot traffic also. Yeah, I would definitely want to keep my feet away from these for <laughs> sure. Now, it's for someone in my position, Russ, that is terrible about being able to keep a plant alive, <laughs> because this is a low water, is, does that necessarily mean low maintenance? Is this good for maybe someone that is not as, as great at keeping a green thumb? That's a good question. Actually, these plants have pretty much no maintenance. Okay. Once you get them planted in the ground and get them established, they pretty much take care of themselves. Really? That's what I like to hear. So obviously these looking a little spiky, is there, is there particular handling that we need to do to get them in? And if, if we don't know what we're doing, can you guys help us with that? Yeah, yeah, you have to be very careful handling these plants. Uh, normally we uh, transfer them onto a piece of burlap. That way several people can pick up the edges and, transfer, and carry it around. Um, and also if it's just a little bit too much for you, we can always come out and plant them for you. Oh, that's great to and know. And that's actually the safest thing for you. <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Let the experts do it. So we can come out every week on Saturday too. I want to mention because I think it's great. Every Saturday morning, we can come out to Osuna University. And for folks like me that don't know what we're doing, you can teach us a thing or two about that's what's right. in the garden. Osuna University is a, uh, a great thing that we've got going here. Come out each week. We have, uh, throughout the, se the season, we have different speakers and they cover all the aspects of gardening, uh, indoor, outdoor, landscape, uh, greenhouse, whole spectrum. This week's topic is the principles of landscape design. Classes start at 11 a.m. And for more information, just head over to foxnewmexico.com.